What's up guys? This is gonna be a follow-up video to the Dubu four lane support or four support lane fundamentals video. So if you haven't checked that out already, please do. It's very educational on what I want my support to do and kind of requires that context to understand really quickly what I'm gonna talk about here. Banana slam jam. So as I talked about in that video, uh, it's a war of lane equilibrium. And it's all about the five position threatening, threatening the small camp, and it's the four position threatening to pull the large camp. So, let's be clear here though. It's not always your support's fault if the lane gets fucked up. A lot of times, it is a team effort between the carry and the support. Uh, and this is also gonna bring to uh, light a very important tidbit that I gave uh, in another support video which is that this patch is very common, if not every game, that at the highest level supports five positions will have a salad, in which will almost every game go on the carry. And you'll see here in a second why that's relevant. I told the CM to fly himself a salve, and I knew he had a salve. So that means that affects my decision making as a carry. What I mean by that is, if I were to do something in lane that were to make me lose all but like 200 health, if I didn't have a salve on my support, I wouldn't do it. I just would not do it. If I do have a salve, I do do it, right? So uh, if it's like efficient and good for the lane. Uh, so in this case, my CM has pulled the small camp. And somebody in my chat asked, hey, BSJ, if the support, the five position is supposed to pull the small and prevent the pull from the large camp, does that mean that they're supposed to be at the large camp to contest it every single time? Answer is the goal is yes, right? As a four, five position, your goal is to pull as well as stop the pull. So there's two options here. Honestly, I think it would have been reasonable that the CM pulls this in order to get lane equilibrium better and then walk over and contest. But that makes it so he doesn't get the XP from the camp. And he's also a CM against a level two Mars um, plus Earth Spirit who has, who has mangoes for mana if he needs it. So what I mean is he's a CM that if he were to walk over here alone, he could just die. So this is where the carry comes in, right? We talk about this being a team effort. I know that if my support pulls the, the small camp, the only thing that can go wrong is the camp that he's, the, the wave that he's pulling to get underneath my tower gets pulled into the hard camp. That's the only thing that can go wrong. Like the reason why his small pull here is good is because this lane's gonna go underneath my tower and I'm gonna get solo XP and farm underneath my own tower. But his pull does absolutely nothing and is almost a bad thing if they pull the large camp into it because at that point this this wave's now over here and it's the same thing as in the dubu video where i'm supposed to be over here i'm taking extra damage because i'm putting myself out of position all that kind of stuff so as a carry because of everything i've already mentioned i see my support pulling and i stop this big camp pull so you guys have to understand the best way to stop the big camp pull is jungle creeps and lane creeps are all the same i walk up in range of these creeps because they're aggroed on to the big, the big camp, right? They're aggroed on. We're going to my player perspective real quick. And I just A-click the Earth Spirit. You're going to see it right here. I A-click the Earth Spirit, draw the aggro of the creeps so that they stop chasing the big camp. And this is where the salve came into play. Because I know, as a carry player who's had to do this a lot of times, that if I do this and the enemy players are good, they're just going to hit me a lot. They're going to throw a bunch of spells on me, etc. And if I were to blink too early here, there's a chance that these creeps re-aggro onto the big camp. So I can't blink away. I have to just tank the damage. So right here, I end up tanking a good amount of damage, but I get the lane underneath my tower. Later on, the CM's gonna salve me. And combined, between the work that we both did, the lane is now underneath my tower. And that's exactly where we want it to be. So it's a team effort, and if the support can't do it, the whole idea of the five and the one is that we're both working together to get the same thing done. He does it first, if it can be done, right? All these inconveniences, stopping the pulls, pulling the camps, that's the five position's job, but some of it is not possible for the five position, whether or not they're already doing something, whether or not their hero's not strong enough, whatever. And if they can't do it as a one, you should do it because you're usually stronger, all that kind of stuff. So just keep in mind that the priority is to always have the five do it, but if the five can't, one does it. And that's an important part of carrying. So it's not always your support's fault if the lane gets out of control. Like if your support pulls like that, and then I were to just let that pull into the big camp, that would be my fault for messing up the lane equilibrium. 
I get a lot of complaints from low MMR players in the support role saying, hey, I do these pulls that you tell me to do that are good. And then the carry just bitches because it doesn't go right. And they don't know what they're like. They don't want it underneath tower or the lane gets pulled at the big camp and stuff like that. This is a preach to the low MMR or even like mid-tier MMR carry players. A lot of you probably don't do this kind of stuff. And it's really important that you work towards the lane equilibrium being good just as much as your five position. So that's a, a nice educational tidbit there.